Hey, welcome back. We're in Exodus chapter 28, and last time we did a big slew of verses. Today we're just doing one, so you probably think I'm crazy, but let's look at verse 30, and I will read it. You shall put in the breastpiece of judgment the Urim and Thummim, and they shall be over Aaron's heart when he goes in before the Lord, and Aaron shall carry the judgment of the sons of Israel over his heart before the Lord continually. So we talked a little bit ahead about the judgment on his heart yesterday because I wanted to take a little bit of time today with the Urim and Thummim. What in the world is that? Well, when we look at all the different texts and all the different passages, we're left with a lot of questions. And in fact, I was scouring the commentaries and looking at the, up those different texts. One of the main texts we find is Numbers 27, 21. Numbers 27, 21. And let me read that to you. Uh, there are a few other texts, but this one's probably the most helpful. It's talking about the Urim and Thummim. Moreover, he shall stand before Eleazar, the priest, who shall inquire for him by the judgment of the Urim before the Lord. At his command they shall go out, and at his command they shall come in, both he and the sons of Israel with him, even all the congregation. And even that doesn't say everything we would maybe want it to say. But the Urim and Thummim were apparently two stones or things that the priest wore. Uh, it's not even that clear exactly how it is. Uh, but they were used to, it sort of in terms of, we could call it divination, uh, but it was approved divination. Uh, there would be a decision, and God first, he expects you to do what? Go to the Bible, go to his word, and, and find his word there. That's how he guides you. But there are sometimes he guides you by prophets. And so prophets are legit. They just have to measure and match the word. But a third, and, and maybe a distant pattern, though, is also the Urim and Thummim. And we don't know where this is today. It's all gone. But for the period of time, the priesthood could use the Urim and Thummim. Well, what is that? And again, when we try to look it all up and find out more about it, we find lots of questions, lots of questions. Let me just give you a few uh, notes here. Um, there are several issues that one commentary says, for none of them is there very conclusive or consensual answer. In other words, nobody really agrees very much. Lots of questions about the Urim and Thummim. Here's an interesting statement I found. One source I read said this. This isn't a Bible, but listen. At the right and left of the breastplate were two large stones of great brilliancy. These were known as the Urim and Thummim. By them the will of God was made known through the high priest. When questions were brought for decision before the Lord, a halo of light encircling the precious stone at the right was a token of the divine consent or approval. While a cloud shadowing the stone at the left was an evidence of denial or disapprobation. So in other words, it was kind of like, the, you know, yes or no. Um, but it appears also in other places that possibly the Urim and Thummim gave a, somehow gave more information than that. So there's lots of questions. There's things I could quote to you, interesting bits from the commentaries about maybe other ways that the Urim and Thummim, what they were and how they worked. I don't know that. I'm going to leave that to you if you're, you want to follow up on it. What we do know is that God, for uh, some things, at some occasions, God would use the Urim and Thummim to bring uh, clear guidance to his people. So, uh, yeah, drawing of lots is found in a couple of places, and then we find this, but we don't find uh, a lot of the other things. All kinds of stuff were done in the ancient world that were weird, you know, looking at the entrails of a slaughtered animal and determining the future by that. That's all pagan. That's not what God does. But the Urim and Thummim seems to be something that the, it was a piece of the work of the high priest. So uh, we, we have this text and a few others. But this is where it fits right in with the, it's, it's legit. It's on the high priests, it's part of his accoutrement of the high priest of all dealing with sin here for God's people. So the Urim and Thummim thought you might be interested in that as we're thinking on these things. God is guiding his people. Part of that guidance comes in determining what his will is and following it. All right, see you tomorrow morning.